if the world isn't quite what you had in mind, you have only yourselves to thank. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> That's what you think about men? Well, let me tell you something about women. Yeah? What? <laughs> They're always late. Uh, Reese, old buddy, no offense, but I think we can elaborate on that. No, no, no. I don't think there's any need to. No, Dash, if women are as intuitive as they say, then they know far more than mere men what ails their sex. And if I were to point it out, I would only be considered ungallant. Well, that hasn't stopped you so far. Anyway, as Sophocles put it so succinctly, few women are dumb enough to listen to reason. We're going to lose our race. As I was about Reeves. to say Watson, before, you... I was rudely interrupted, like thousands of my brethren before me, by the simultaneously enticing and infuriating high-pitched female whine. <laughs> this argument isn't going to be settled tonight or next week or next year or a thousand years from now, because... It's the war between men and women. And it's been going on since Adam and Eve. Ah, good old Adam. Probably no man ever got so much out of one surgical operation. <laughs> so true, Dad. so true. That is such a chauvinistic remark. Yes, but on some level, you kind of like it. Like what? The fact that you evolved from us, that we protect and cherish you, that we fight those wars for you and lay our bounty at your feet. Eat dirt. Nice talk. Let's go. That you do the pillaging and the beheading for us, for heaven's sake. You do it to show off to each other. Oh, no, we do it because we want to be your heroes. You're darn right. That's why we chopped down the forest, conquered the mountains, built cities, and in general civilized the world. Have you all ever heard such drivel? So that we could return home and bask in your rapturous, unattainable beauty. <laughs> well, now that is a good point. <laughs> Two women, wild and wonderful. May they be the last thing civilized by man. Here, here. Amen. The last thing civilized by man? Can you believe that? Is that not the most patronizing remark you have ever heard? Reese Watson, let me just tell you this. You've got to pull yourself up here. We're going to have to rent a flatbed truck to get you on. The most arrogant speech I've ever heard. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Suzanne, the next time you want to talk about our sex lives, why don't you just rent the scoreboard at the Super Bowl? It'll be a heck of a lot more bright. 